Republican Congressman Tim Griffin trying to pass legislation that would award the Purple Heart to soldiers killed in two separate shootings in 2009. One of those occurred here in Little Rock. The president, meantime, says he opposes that measure because of a legal concern. Channel 7's Catherine Yancey has our top story tonight. Kat? Scott, Christina, in 2009, 13 soldiers were killed and 33 were injured between the Fort Hood and Little Rock shootings by self-proclaimed terrorists. Not one has received a Purple Heart. State Representative Tim Griffin is a co-sponsor of a bill to give them that acknowledgement. June 2009, two men in uniform standing outside a Little Rock recruiting office were shot. The gunman, Abdul Hakim Muhammad, confessed he wanted to kill more soldiers. Private Quentin Azegula survived but still battles pain from his injuries daily. Private William Long's mom witnessed the shooting and her son's death. Muhammad is now serving consecutive life sentences. You had an individual who traveled overseas, who studied uh, to be a terrorist. The Department of Defense will not acknowledge it as a terrorist act. They were killed or uh, wounded and killed specifically because they were wearing their uniform. The White House released this statement saying the provisions could create an appeal issue. The president needs to set that aside and just recognize that we gave Purple Hearts to members of the armed services who were wounded or killed on 9-11 by in a terrorist act. That's pursuant to the law. The soldier's attorney, Trey Kitchen, says it would allow a degree of peace for the families, adding they were victims of a crime just like our men and women overseas in war, and they were serving our country. So again, this bill will not change the law, rather go around those who w will not acknowledge the crime as a terrorist act. Griffin says if the bill fails, they can pursue it again after elections. To read statements from representatives and see the complete story with Griffin, go to KATV.com. You can also leave your comment there. All right, Kat, thanks very much for that report. In other news tonight, Occupy Little Rock's camp is empty tonight.